Hey guys, I've got a quick tip for you guys today on how to hack your VMware Workstation networking to add VLAN tagging to your virtual machine. So stick around and let's see how that's done. Ironically, the first thing that you need to do is to install Hyper-V on your uh, client workstation. Here I've got a Windows 11 box running and I'm simply going to navigate to optional features to show you guys what I've done previously. So I have installed Hyper-V along with the Hyper-V management tools. Now the Hyper-V management tools will allow us to use PowerShell commandlets to add a Hyper-V network adapter that we can assign a VLAN ID. And that is something that we cannot natively do inside of VMware Workstation. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open Hyper-V Manager. So uh, let's uh, open Hyper-V Manager. We're going to make sure that in the virtual switch manager that we have an external switch that we have created in our client Hyper-V settings inside of Hyper-V Manager. And as you can see, I have a external switch called external 01. And note that it's bridged to the physical network adapter. This is a virtual machine I'm running, but same uh, difference here. It's bridged to the network adapter. Allow management operating system to share this network adapter. And we're gonna leave all of those options the same. And I've already created this, so I'm not gonna click okay. Uh, we've already created the external switch. So now what we need to do is we can simply launch a PowerShell prompt and we're going to do this as an administrator. And there are a couple of commandlets that I'm going to paste in to show you guys the syntax of what we're going to do. So the PowerShell commandlet that we're interested in is called the add VM network adapter. And notice what we are doing is we're naming the VM network adapter, uh, test VLAN, VLAN 150, and then also we are assigning it to that external switch that we had previously created in Hyper-V Manager. You can actually create that as well in PowerShell. But since I already had that created, we're just using PowerShell to add this virtual network adapter that allows us to pass in a VLAN ID. It is VLAN ID 150. So with that being said, now we can just simply run the commandlet and we're going to allow that virtual network adapter to be added, which it added successfully. So now if we go to our network settings of our Windows 11 host, we see this virtual network adapter that has been added. And we know that by the designation test VLAN, VLAN 150. So this essentially becomes a physical network adapter that we can now go back to VMware Workstation and we can bridge a network, a new network in VMware Workstation to this virtual network adapter that we've created in Hyper-V with a VLAN tag and with all of those things in place, we can essentially use that new network with a VLAN tag um, for our virtual machines running inside of VMware Workstation. Everything that we're going to do from this point forward happens in the virtual network editor of our VMware Workstation installation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in as administrator and add network option. So just click the add network button and we can accept any of the defaults here. It's just picking the next uh, available VMNet uh, network adapter. So we're going to just say VMNet2. We're going to click OK and notice it creates the network by default as a host only connection. So that's a special private connection that's not what we want. We want this new network to be bridged to that uh, virtual network adapter we created in Hyper-V with the VLAN tag, allowing us to tag those frames coming out of our virtual machine. So we can pipe our traffic uh, to different networks, uh, ethernet networks. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this to bridge and we're going to get uh, the option after changing to bridge uh, to bridge two, and so we've got a drop down box now. So, what we need to do is it generically 
gives you the names of these. So we don't see that intuitive name. So one thing I want to do is just bring back up the network connections. And if you notice, if you hover over the virtual network adapter, we could also go into properties. But if you hover over, we can see that it's virtual network adapter three. That we are going to assign this to virtual network adapter number three. So with that, now we can simply click apply and it's changing this new virtual network in virtual or in VMware Workstation uh, from that host only network type to a bridged network type. And notice here too, this is a new feature that came I think in uh, uh, VMware Workstation 16, I believe, or maybe 15.5, you can actually rename your networks, which is extremely handy. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to say VLAN 150. So that way I know that with this network, when it shows up for the options in a virtual machine, I know that that network is assigned VLAN tag 150. So I'm going to say OK. Uh, we're going to click Apply once again, and we're going to click OK. So now we're going to edit the properties of a test Windows 10 virtual machine that I have running in VMware Workstation. We're going to go to Settings and we're going to go to Network Adapter. Notice by default it's uh, selected to use a NATed interface. We're going to change that. We're going to drop this down to Custom and now we should see the option for uh, VLAN 150, which we do, which is the new network that we created. Now we can assign this uh, virtual machine to this new VLAN 150 network. What will happen is that is bridged to the Hyper-V virtual adapter that has the Ethernet frames tagged with VLAN ID 150, essentially placing that VMware Workstation virtual machine on that tagged VLAN 150 network. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video tip today on how to hack your VMware Workstation networking to add VLAN tagging to your virtual machines. Please do hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon.